Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 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 no, I like you get the covers tucked up under the feet. I oh like it. Oh, I'm gone. That, that is the best sleep. <laughs> I'm out of there. You don't do the, the, the one leg out, the one leg in? Yeah, when I get, if I'm yeah. hot, yeah, oh, yeah. that is like you get the perfect blend. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Roll them, let's go. Let's go. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta take them off the head. But there's only one, and that's me. You understand? It's like we come through. Better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be a rich. Can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are. Yo, welcome to Sports Life and Hip Hop. Once again, we back in this bitch, man. As usual, you got the usual crew. You got my man Zeke. You got the one and only Ricky Schwein. And I'm Channel 7. Um, let's get it, man. We're here for a good time, not a long time. You know. <laughs> I way up. I feel blessed. Sorry. Um, <laughs> What we got, man? What we got with it, man? Um, kick, kick, kick it off, man. You, yo, you, you just went to uh, tell us about your experience. Oh, you went to the uh, the butch, the no Conway Club. Conway Club. It's pretty. It was dope. It was um. Which you know said if you've been to one Conway show, you, this is why I take it back. This one was kind of like a money felt like a money grab. Mm. He rapped. Mm. He rapped, but he put it was a it was a lot of his uh, drum work people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he trying to put them on. Yeah, he's okay. getting them a check. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll put it this way: I enjoy Stove God's set more than his, because I mean his. I would say I would. Stove I would, God still hungry. Yeah, yeah, on the real. He did it. He kicked it off with his that hook he did on Boldy James, the diamonds. Yeah. And, uh, Diamond on the stove. Um. I mean, what like how many songs did he do? Like he uh, did a good hour, a strong Conway. hour, just him. Oh, Conway, Conway yeah. did about an hour and a half, but he probably yeah. rapped about thirty minutes, mm-hmm. sporadically here and there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that ain't too bad. You said Stole got did an hour by himself. By himself, yeah. Oh damn! He killed it though. I was thoroughly like, That's not bad. I was yeah, into I like, it. I like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Stole God. Yeah, cool. Shout out to Stole God. Sports life and hip hop, we, we, we love you. Folks, we tough, man. <laughs> well, thanks for the like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was it was decent, man. There wasn't no merch there. There was, but I didn't. I don't like I, West Side got the best merch out of them. I don't like. I'm not a oh, really hey, big West fan. Oh, West Side wasn't there, so yeah, yeah. yeah ain't gonna stand to have his stuff there. Not a big fan of Conway's shit. Definitely not buying an apron for for, <laughs> for Benny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, His logo decent with the with the, uh, the butcher. Yeah, with the uh, the two axes. Yeah, the, two yeah, the, the axes butcher. on there. Cleavers, yeah. cleavers. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Who else uh, opened? It? Anyone else? That was the me? rest was like, you know, what I'm saying like New Yorkers, the promoters, the promoters, and they shameless, uh, shameless money grab. I could pay to play. I could tell it was pay to play. Like. They, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They paid. I, I really want to know how much like each artist charged. Like I want to know how much like a Conway would charge or a Stove God. Like I'm sure if you look at like, cause me and Zeke have gone, we've gone over this and we look at the venue. We look at how much the price. How much would you take if you're mind me asking? Uh, twenty five. Okay. That's it. Mm-hmm. So twenty five. was that day? That was like capacity like has before. to be no more. From what I saw, capacity was no more than five, five hundred. Probably about that. Yeah. And it wasn't no like front. That, that's the, the place where everybody was standing up, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Standing room. Yeah. This was bigger than than uh, what was that joint? What we what did we see on the patio or something? Yeah. This, this, was, this wasn't the same spot? It might have been more than five. Because this is way... No, nah, this was the yeah, Avondale. Let's, let's go with oh, okay. G. Let's go with okay. G. Okay. 
Bear with me. Not that many. It, <laughs> every, it was was was, it was, every ticket was 25? I'm sure, sure. Right, I'm sure they had the backstage package. Right, I'm sure they had They probably had But it's only it. like, uh, what? Yeah, they ain't hundred of those? Yeah, they ain't going to Well, for a thousand people, that's, and they paid 25, that's, that's 25,000. I was going to say you might. So you mean to tell me you can get Conway for about 10? You Because you got to make just, a profit. It was just him and, St- and Stove God. He pays his drum work people. Oof. He that so he you know what I'm saying you figure yes. they work a fee out he works a fee out for the whole tour because that's the whole that's a tour. No, I get it. So he pays his people like probably a flat rate. You come on tour. Okay, you, so you know you're saying, saying you wait 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 you're saying you're saying Conway get his bread so then he right. break them off from his bread. Yeah. Uh, so if he pays the total, them, a, yeah, the total. So if Conway I'm is getting twenty we racks. A single show. If if Conway is getting twenty racks per show, mm-hmm. he gonna say, "All right, I'm gonna break y'all off." I don't think he, he do twenty. He do twenty shows. He do twenty. Well, I don't know how many dates he had, but yeah. say he Probably do twenty about 15, dates. 20. He made twenty grand each. You know what I'm saying? He gives uh, them a total uh, of of twenty. He gives them a total of twenty grand. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do all those those those, those dates, those tours. Okay, right. You know what I'm saying? They ain't making no real bread, but they on tour with Conway. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With the artist, the 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 key performer, the the, the owner of the gonna, label. It's people that's gonna fuck with them just because they were coming. Right, he's putting them on. Yeah. So you don't get paid after the show. You you get paid at the end of the tour. No, 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 no. I want my money after the show. No, nah, yeah, you get, get paid. Your promoter posted. That's where the story is. No, from. he's well, going. He's going to pay Conway, but I'm talking yeah, yeah, about the drummer. Yeah, right. He ain't gonna get paid. The Why who? Not? The drummer. I'm saying the the band members. Oh, uh, the drum work cats. Yeah. I mean, that's between what they were out How they going to survive if they each show? They right. on tour, though. So it's not like you should really spend anything on tour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, bro, like, I'm sure they buy weed and food. I'm saying, like, he mm-hmm. could purchase all yeah. that. He could say, yo. I mean, this is all speculation. I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> you you know all the, the well, inner works of how it goes. Yeah, this play Somewhere. money for Conway. Like, he got a deal. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, yeah, 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 he do. You know what I'm saying? He's putting his artists on. He going on tour, like... So this an is agenda. More, you know this is saying? more about stove guy and getting him out there. This is definitely a stove guy. Now he's getting a check. You know what I'm saying? He's, yeah. He's headlining. You okay. know what I'm saying? He didn't bring anybody. You know what I'm saying? Conway bought two artists. That chick seven or whatever, whatever she called her, and uh, then that other dude. I might have some words for her, but anyway, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I'm not too familiar with it. I've seen them some video they had. I'm not really I'm not familiar a fan. with who they are though. So, so if you, I, I'm just doing the math. Yeah, it's, it can't be. I mean, he not, you not raking in fifty k. No. In Chicago, you know mm. what I'm saying? You getting about twenty. He ain't at the UC. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Some. So he he take that bread. You know the promoters gotta get their money. Mm-hmm. Yep. Then they get that off the opening acts. That's why it's so shameless. It'd be like... Oh. <clears throat> that's what I mean. Pay oh, right. The yeah, opening acts got to pay them. They got to yeah, pay they them. They have to yeah. pay. How much is that usually? Average-wise. It varies. Like, we paid for the, for the Ghost and Ray. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 you don't have to pay. You can pay, but they give you tickets. You can right. sell tickets. Sell tickets. Too. If, you know what I'm saying? And what you don't sell, you, you come out of the pocket to make up for. Or you can say, fuck, I ain't selling shit. Just take I'll just pay you. Oh, and that was like, that was like I want to say like two hundred bucks or something. So open an axe only pay two hundred dollars. But it'd be, two, a but it'd be ten of them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. So like, that's two oh, grand right, right there. Make right. You wait. That's make that's two grand. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I call them shameless promoters. They don't care about the show and the quality right. of the show. <laughs> bored. You know what I'm you saying? What you want to rap? Two hundred bucks. You on stage? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So can you sell the tickets and get more than two hundred and keep? The yeah, rest? you can sell yeah. it for whatever you want. Oh, I mean, you, but you gotta have a following. Yeah, them, right? <laughs> but your your selling point is yo, it's a Ghost and Ray, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, or, it's, right. or it's, it's Conway, you know what I'm right. saying? I'm gonna be there too, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah but stay for Ray. the show. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So they're not really selling themselves. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, you sell it yourself to your friends, like you, they want to come out and support. But okay. hey, Ghost and Ray gonna be there too. If you don't, want, if you really don't want to see me, you can. You know, say so see Conway or Ghost or whoever the yeah. open or the headliner is. You know. Oh, okay. So, 
But I've been listening to uh, King's Disease too. Still. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's better than Donda and CLB. I got a probably top three album of the year for me. Better than Donda, right? Definitely better than Donda. I haven't listened to Donda since I I, I gave it an extensive listen. <laughs> I gave it a brief uh, a brief. Over, overview just for the pod and then I went back and listened to it extensively and I haven't listened to it since like it's not whack it's just it's not my shit it's not for me I think Zeke said it best it's like so many things that's coming out right now that you know what I'm saying it's oversaturated so you only got like 10 minutes of your time or your attention yeah, you gotta be dope it's, yeah. gotta be super it's competitive dope. right now yeah so if it's like man like I haven't know. listened to oh boy. no no go ahead I mean, I cut you off. Was a... Go ahead, man. I haven't listened to, to Drake. I haven't. I love the CLB joint. You know what I'm saying? Like you love it? Nah, I love is strong. I because yeah, yeah, yeah. this it is far from his best, his best work. I was but Donda was so that. bad. Hmm? I was surprised to hear so many people say they didn't like it. Like uh, Notables say, "Yo, I ain't really like it." Because usually they're gonna suck up to Drake. It's cool. That's because he rapped on this joint. Like it's cool. He did some real fucking rapping on this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? The main, the, the main stream cast ain't gonna fuck with this album. Like, this is why you don't never get this much rapping on a Drake album. So you're saying if, if he was doing more singing, they would have praised it more? Yeah. Like his, old, like his other albums. Like, he did some real... He got like three joints on there where he just went barred. He barred out. The first yeah, joint. Yeah, that's true. It's the last joint. The one where he ate Kanye ass up. The timestamp joint that he always put out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What, are, on, uh, this, uh, what is it, 7 a.m.? Yeah. I loved it. Go ahead. What did y'all think about him releasing that, uh, about Kanye releasing that track? I thought it was a power move. Mm. It was so, he, he put out, he put out the best song on the Kanye's album. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, Drake. Kanye didn't, didn't even put it out. All right. I didn't really understand why he did that, but I'm glad he did. <laughs> yeah, well, can y'all, can y'all tell me why or, I mean, get in his mind for saying. I think it was on some. I know that, I know he don't want this track out, and I got it, so I'm, I'm a. It's, it's a petty. Yeah, it's kind of being petty. I'm going I'm to drop it before he get the chance to drop it. All right. His own shit. Yeah. Even Just like it's dope, even if it's dope, it's not finished. He kind of ta- yeah, he kind of taking the, the fanfare away from it. No, Dang. even though it's a cold track, I don't know. But yeah. I don't think but I thought like, Kanye would drop it like an official version, but I guess not. But it's out there now. You know, like, he can still clean it up and put it out. Right, right. I thought he put you it on hear, iTunes or something. Yeah, you can hear in there. It's not finished. He, you know, he's mm-hmm. riffing and trying to, you know, what I'm saying, get his. He's working on the song as as it's being as he as he's you know what I'm saying spitting you know what I'm saying like it's not done. And like I said on the last episode, he back to old Kanye cursing and everything on GD. it. Right. He said on GD. If you if you got if you got a tight circle per se, like how do you get that track? Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Like if you if, if if you you know what I'm saying you got a track, you like Rick. I'm in the studio. I'm working hard. How do how does someone outside of us get that track? It had to be a leakage. Well, remember, somewhere. Drake was at, in Wyoming with Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, so you think I doubt it was all two way back years then. ago, yeah. three yeah. years ago? But I'm saying within the industry, man, you never know who what's on. Take it together from a chick or something. Yeah. You don't know what's on somebody's hard drive that leaked and then got to somebody. You know what I'm saying? In the industry, like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we'll never get it, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I can see Drake, just like Kanye got a word of Drake having a baby. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know that. Drake, mm-hmm. Ye put that shit, Pusha T put that shit out there, yep. word from Ye. Well, that was from Ye. Within when the industry. They had an intimate conversation and that's, they chatty patty. Yeah. I think that was from a chick, wasn't it? I thought it was mm-hmm. ultimately. Well, there was pillow talk between, yeah. between uh, some chick and, and Pusha, right? I believe so. <clears throat> I think the chick was messing with 40. Mm. Yeah. And that's how he found out. <laughs> so so it's not surprising that a track. No, 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 I'm not saying it's, but like I would think someone like Kanye or people of Kanye like shit don't usually leak like that. 
Yeah, he don't leak his shit. But that's where the disc comes Somebody from. Somebody else, yeah. That's where the insult comes yeah, from. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a mate that's right. kind of dope that he was able to do. Because Kanye don't really... Dude, he the first... Like, you can't even play... If if someone video, you know, gets him on camera with a track, he wants it deleted mm-hmm. or, you know what I'm saying, or no sound or whatever. Yeah, he so threw some, mics around. What the fuck? How the fuck did he get that shit? Which one of you... Everybody out! Everybody, yeah, he was somebody crazy. definitely got fired for that. Oh uh, so. yeah, somebody yeah. that was part of that carries his hard drive. Mm-hmm. Did you guys watch the verses? No, I, I know you said I saw know. the clips. Saw a few clips from I what saw. I saw. From what I saw, it was uh, dope. Ja Rule's the winner, which oh, I yeah. did not think would happen. Which I saw Fat Joe over there. Well, I thought. I mean, I thought the winner was Ashanti. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Yo, yeah, can't argue with that. <laughs> Shit. For all of us. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> What'd you call it? Um, yeah, I, I thought uh, I, I figured y'all rule would win. I mean, he just got more hits. Fat Joe has the longer, more Does consistent. He? Yes, dude. The J Lo, dude. What song? The 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 R U L R U L E. Fat Joe's biggest hit. Fat Joe's on a lot of songs. No, he got some bangers. Yeah, he, he got some shit. He went on a, Fat Joe went on a run, man. Like Yeah, they both had runs. But Ja Rule like kinda like held it fucking down. He had a you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's why it was such a big knockoff when, when Fifth came through and just, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And changed the image of him. But I thought it was unbelievable. I thought it was over. I thought, all right, this is what it is when, when when Fat Joe came out with the army jacket line and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, with the with the green and truck jewelry, you know what I'm saying? He came out with Flo Joe. I'm like, oh shit. I got chills, <laughs> like, yo, fat he, yo, he on that Flo Joe shit, he about to come on the street shit, cause that's the only real way he that's can really he come at Ja Rule. Mm-hmm. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But forgot about Ja Rule. Cause then as soon as he came with that, he came with dun dun dun. Uh, 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 um, the shit with uh, with uh, with uh, with X and J, uh, oh yeah, came right back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit was dope. And Fat Joe came back. He fucked up though, cause he played um, my life. Um, uh, 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 uh how far my life go? Um, y'all wanna live, live my lifestyle? Yeah. Uh, uh-uh, never lived in a trap house. Yeah, but. That is kind of like mainstream. It's not mainstream. That was one of his early mainstream hits. Yeah, yeah. Which opened the it's door. It's a hard song, though. But it opened the door for Ja to come with his shit. <laughs> and just, you know what I'm saying? He should have came right back with some more hard shit. Because that, that little crack, you know what I'm saying? His next shit was every little... Mm-hmm. Oh, the whole that boy, the bitches went crazy in that motherfucker, man. Like, ja Rule do got like three tracks with J-Lo and yeah, that shit, bonkers. So. And also, he his stage presence was crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he his, didn't have stage presence. He did, but Ja Rule held his own. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he you know what I'm saying? He was like, hold up, we run. He had comebacks for everything Joe was saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Too. You know what I'm saying? He had a little witty shit to say. At the, you know what I'm saying? He was bodying him. He's like, <laughs> like he did. He did a uh, big pun. He did um. Dead in the middle. No, when Fat Joe did uh, that was dope too because Remy did his verse, mm. did Pun's verse, which was dope because she came through with the breath, the whole dead in the middle, little 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 did we know that we riddle do middle middle didn't do that. Yo, she went crazy <laughs> on that shit, man. But uh, uh, um, he did uh, I I don't, I don't want to be a player. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, fa- and Joe and Ja Rule's in the back like, what is this? This is ain't, this ain't even your song. <laughs> like, it was hilarious because he, he was talking over him while he was rapping and shit. And, uh, and Remy, he was talking about Remy. Thank you, mama. You, you're, saving your, you're saving your man. You're doing what you're supposed to do. <laughs> like, he was by, and you could tell Fat Joe felt the pressure because every time Ja Rule came with one of them joints, you know what I'm saying? He'd go grab a towel from his man. <laughs> <laughs> he felt the pressure of that shit, man. But um, I think he, he, he started getting a little out of hand. That's why we call a little more crackhead and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, he said that during the verses. Yeah, he said. 
He said, you get them dusty, he said, them get them dusty bitches off the stage. And she was there? When first when Vita and Ashanti, yeah. Lil, wow. No, not, what did I say? Lil Mo. Yeah, Lil Mo, yeah. When Lil Mo came first, Ashanti and Vita <laughs> came out. You know what I'm saying? And, and cause Ja Rule was like, you bringing all these women out, you bringing women out to help you out, man. That's good. Good. I I've been all by myself. <laughs> but now I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna join you. And then and that's when he, he was like, man, don't bring them dusty bitches out on stage. And then they did the what you call it, the joint with um, with Vita and Ashanti. Mm-hmm. Then he came back with the little Mo joint. That's when he made the crackhead comment. You know what I'm oh, saying? You know okay. she had. No drug issues, you yeah. know. So she took that shit personal, mm. and she killed it. So I mean, it was, I was thoroughly entertained, man. It was a dope versus, man. I have a question about versus. Mm. Should they start declaring a winner, or should just still just leave it up to the audience to decide? I think they should leave it as is, personal. Okay, leave it as is. Who's gonna Who's gonna who's determine? Going to determine? Right, and then they had to bring in judges. Yeah, and, you know what I'm saying. Not only that, you know. People are gonna say it's for the culture. We both love right. it. Right. Let the streets yeah. talk. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But what y'all think about Diddy accepting JD's challenge? That should be That's good. Nice. That's nice. That should be good. That's I'm nice. definitely gonna watch that. Yeah. Although I think Puff will walk away the victor. JD said JD said something interesting. Mm. He said, dude, Puff can't be in the room where I'm in, and that is I'm a writer. I write for a lot of hits. I wrote a lot of hits. Say so in the Hall of Fame. That. Yeah, and he in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Or something like that. Say him. Uh, Dallas Austin. Dallas Austin, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who else? Jay. And somebody else is like the only people from his era that's in the song right now. Writer's Guild or something like that. And that he is, said, Diddy ain't in there. Diddy ain't in there. He said he can't touch him. But Puff can play shit that he's just associated with. Yeah. He's in the studio, like. Really had no creative influence, but he has writers. He has he has production credits on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I mean, his his track list is is crazy from the total shit. Yeah, yeah. J- Jermaine Dupri goes back to crisscross escape. He it's can go be his, Usher. He can, be JD his. can't play can no, touch Usher JD too. can't play no crisscross during this. Why not? No. Jump. Is that an automatic point? It jump. Be, he can use jump. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it though. No, that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it, though. Chris you Cross had a run. Play, you can't play I missed the bus? Nah, nah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> he can play Usher shit, though. But so can Puff. Yeah, Puff, Puff got, got some Usher shit. Yeah, he can play Bow Wow. Mm. Tough. <laughs> Tough. I mean... It Puff can play big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And a lot of big. Total. Yeah. Not a lot. He only got two albums that Zeke always tells me. You only got two. Yeah, a ver- you only need twenty in a verse. Right, it was only twenty joints. Can't, can't he can do. He can do five big songs. Can't go. Can't go and get uh, over over overboard with that. No, I, that would be a bad strategy. Yeah, but he can, can spread them out. He oh. can bring out the body victory. Who my niggas is that? He can, you know what I'm saying? He got Danny mm-hmm. Kane. <laughs> <laughs> what's, him the, him. what's the guy group he had? Uh, no. Day, uh, day 24. Day 26. Oh, yeah, he got some shit with 112. The band. The band, yeah. <laughs> 112. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he got... And then, like, artists that he just fucked with, like... Uh, I don't Robin think y'all know what... I, I gotta look, but J.D. done wrote for a lot. Yeah, J.D. has a lot. Oh, That's why shit, I should be better. Dude. Yeah. Like, then he say he's songwriter, so he could play stuff. Yo, I wrote that. Yeah. You know, I wrote that. Justin Timberlake, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's gonna be a good battle. Yeah. And then Puff got his own shit, like Benjamin's. Yeah. You know what I'm like, he didn't write it, though. He got a couple albums. Don't matter. He's on it. Yeah, he, he, he can, rapping on it. There's only 20 songs. You know what I'm saying? Sounds like y'all giving it to Puff already. <laughs> Sounds like y'all made up your mind. But not by a landslide. I'm saying. Yeah, like it ain't gonna be no landslide. Sounds like you made up your mind. I'm, I'm, coming, I'm coming in open. open. Eleven nine or something like that. Yeah, you know they gonna go over and play more than twenty anyway. Maybe I don't know. They shut them down. They shut Jar Rule them down. Mm. They did. Mm-hmm. Uh, it wasn't like uh, Jada uh, Dipset and uh, the Locks. They went over. Right. Mm-hmm. They paid. For it. No, they shut these guys down. They must have paid for it. 
It sounded like they was ready to get, you know what I'm saying? They just didn't, they didn't, they didn't really rappers like Dipset. No. They was, Dipset and Wax, they was, they was on some real rap shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all still cool? Like, are y'all still intrigued by Versus? Has it, has it still kept its luster? As long as the matchup is good. When the, yeah, when the matchup the is matchup trash, good, I'm, yeah. <clears throat> I'm totally, you know what I'm saying? My interest is totally dictated by the matchup. 100%. So they can keep going. They can keep going on for a couple more years. Years? It's a thing. I don't know. And it's, it's I was wondering about that too. Like, when is it going to simmer down? I mean, because they we've gotten at least fifty matchups already. Think about yeah. it. It was hot because of COVID. Right. COVID is well over. And yeah. it's still going. And it's still now. Going. It's turned now. It's turned to a concert. It's evolving, right? Yeah. You know it's it's basically a concert now. Right. So, yeah, I think you can go. So I can go a few more years. So they have admit that, I mean. If they go a few more years, they're going to have to start. Like, dude, some, they've gotten everybody. Right, they're going to have to start got, doing some they, rematches. They've gotten everybody. They ain't got it. it, 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 it it's, uh, it's limitless. They haven't even touched. Limitless? What? they got to start bringing other people in. Other, other genres. So they're going to bring new acts. That's the it's only a, way. No, 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 so it's a million artists. No, it's a million artists, but. It's the basically reason, been rap, it, R&B, soul, pretty right, much. Right, but I'm saying, like, the yeah. reason the, the people that they're picking are people that have history. They got yeah. longevity. Uh-huh. It's not, like, new cats. You can't do it for, like, sorry. You can't do it for, like, uh, you know. Can't do it for West Side. You can't you do it for Lil Nas shit. X. No, you know we don't, they don't have to. Think about what we haven't got yet. Think about Drake and Kanye. You're not going to hang on. Hang on. Think about I don't think Jay going to do it. We haven't got anything from Jay. If it gets big enough, it will happen. No. Uh, we'll if it gets big that. enough, it will uh, happen. I'm on record saying you will never get a Jay now. I think Swizz said Kanye was ready. It was supposed to be Kanye Drake. Mm-hmm. And Kanye was ready when Drake ain't want to do it. I can see Drake saying that. They all do things when they want to. I so I mean, think, I don't think Jay would do it. I think not. They just like, fuck it. I don't want to do it. I, I think it would. And but if them take them out, like okay, so there's other cool there's, artists. Who else? <laughs> I mean, I could come with a million artists. I'm, I mean, I'm I could come with. I'm you could go with you could go like with with some legend shit. You could go I'm, with like uh, they done legends. They you, done could go, you could go with like uh, you could go you Run DMC and uh, damn, you could go. Didn't they do Al Green? Didn't they do the uh, Osley Brothers? They did the Isleys, not the Al Isley Brothers. Right, they did that. I mean. You can go into that. Like, you could go into, like... So they got to start bringing the white people in. It's not too... Backstreet many, Boys versus it's NSYNC not or something. Many, it's not if they do that... <laughs> boy! If they do Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, which is very feasible, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because Swiss is... You know what I'm saying? He, he think outside the box. And both of them. Man, man, too. Yeah. If they do that, it's going to go nuts. It's going to kill any numbers that... Who did the most? Who did, who, who did, it don't even matter. They're going to crush it. But I'm saying the options are limitless as far as matching up people. It's just... My thing was just saying... just you know if, I mean? they get, if they going to do... They got to start venturing out the genres. I can, and some people, I can see people being against that. How is it That's a out million the genre. acts? It's not that many that we... Int- They've gotten the best of the best as is. There's more. We thought we had the best of the best is two, three, four months ago when the shit first came out. I knew it was more. I knew it was more. I mean, like, there's been some bad ones. Like, yeah. the, like that Jonta and, uh, who was that? Uh, Jonta and, um. That was Dallas. Uh, Sean Garrett. Sean, Sean Garrett. Sean Garrett. Sean Garrett. Was that bad. It was no, no, no. Well, Sean, I think Sean Garrett versus the Dream. Versus the dream. Yeah. Oh, the Dream, right, I didn't right. I like that because that was, a, I like the writers of music. That's right. You can, there's a million writers. Like, there's, there's different genres. There's endless. You ain't gonna keep people's, uh, the one I've been hearing the most coming up. But I'm up saying is the 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 hmm. probably uh, Missy versus Buster. Well, I don't know what that. Is. See, <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. There's been a mad matchup that I didn't want. So you mean to tell me you really think this can go on for ten years? No. These people are way more smarter than me and more. And, are they? And I can come up. <laughs> I can come up. Uh, with I think you're up. selling yourself short. But all right. I mean, this is what they do. This is what they. This is. I think you say this. I'm not. I can come up with matchups 
on a on a monthly basis, I'm sure they can. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is their only job. You how many how many per month can they do like consistently? What are they doing now? Like, one. They don't it's even have like they're doing one. Yeah. One. I don't that even mean they have a month. It, it's, it's getting kind of it's sputtering. No, they never. I don't think they have a per month. I don't think they've ever done like three a month. Like no, nah, it's they just did as two, two. I think they might have did two back in the when it was straight on IG. Yeah, when it was uh, COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Like, now it's like yeah. Now they got to set this like, shit up. Yeah. It's, a, it's a show okay. now. All right, it's a show. Well, I mean, you know, Tom, I don't know. I think they can. Like, yeah, I mean, I feel like if I can think of a matchup, I'm sure they can. Like, My thing is, are they going to venture out and do pop and all that? The Backstreet Instinct is crazy, dog. Like, you yeah, just crazy. threw that out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? I t- you know what I'm saying? Like, that is crazy. Britney Spears doing her uh, conservatorship. Well, she could do one. Well, you get into that shit. Britney the versus pop Christina. Pop stars. Britney, Christina. That's, that's crazy, too. Like, I would watch that. Like, you know, uh, my next question. Are you going to watch yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Why would you watch? You like Britney and Christina? Oops, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> that was my shit. Does Britney have twenty? I don't know her catalog like that. Yeah, I don't either. I think she does. You don't. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know but I think got. just off of that, I guess I think she does. All I know is, oops, I did it again. I'm a slave. I'm sure the Beebs can go against somebody in that, in that pop genre. Oh, yeah. Chris Brown. That would kill, too. Mm. Oh, Come yeah, on, man. Brown, you yeah. throwing shit out and making dope shit on the but fly. You, gotta expand. you coming with crazy first shit all, on the fly. First, you you gotta, gotta, first of all, you got to get them to agree. Everyone's yeah. Agree to that. They always throw in ideas, but don't nobody like, no one agree. Might not, everybody might not agree to that shit. That adds to the to the, the, the If the I was artist, I wouldn't do it. Hell it depend on how the big check is. Yeah, Britney had nine albums. Yeah, Britney had a lot. Dude, if you... I'm a slave. That was a Timbo B, wasn't it? No, that was a Neptune. That was not... Uh, right, right, right. What'd you call it? How'd your fantasy go? How'd your fantasy drive go? Uh, not fantasy drive, it's no, fantasy week. I'm, so far, I'm in uh, the top first. Uh, shout out to Mike. Shout out to Zeke for coming out. Um, as you saw, it was kind of intense. I haven't done fantasy football in like four or five years. Mm-hmm. So seeing them dudes really was like a genuine, um, like, yo, like I ain't seen you in a minute. So, yeah, and really, like, it was really acting like they saw a ghost. I thought you was joking. No, 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 no. it was real. Like, Man, you back? Yeah. What are you doing here? It's like a, it was a yearly thing for, you know what I'm saying? It was, it's been five years. I, I, st- I stepped away for like four or five years. Mm. So when you, the last time you was there, you was like, yo, I ain't coming back. No, nah, it was just like, you know how <laughs> something like consumes you and takes a lot of time? Fantasy. It, it definitely took so consumes fan- So fancy football is like Venom for you. You was turning to Venom? Yeah, it would be like two computers on a draft. And, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. you, you, you ignoring your responsibilities. You're ignoring wow. your home life. Not ignoring it, but like... It consumes you. You like you always like. I want to win, so I got to drive. You know what I'm saying? Like I get competitive drive, so mm-hmm. like I want to win. Like I'm watching, you know, NFL Network all day. Mm-hmm. But you know, other than that, it was a good experience. It was cool to get out there, and you know, when I was drafted, I remember Zeke saying like, you know, like man, you don't look happy. I was like, dude, like. You don't know how it is. It's intense. <laughs> like, it's intense. Did you, did you like, say shut the fuck up? No. Did you, did you tell him shut no, the no, fuck no, up? No, no, no. It was a lot. I didn't think it would be. That. It's intense, though. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. intense. It's, it's like, like, damn, fuck. Yeah, yeah, like, motherfucker, you took my guy. Like, you right, know what I'm right. Like, I had my eyes set on the ball. Plan you know B. I so, I, I, another thing, I didn't know, I figured you draft the best player first. It ain't like that. Nah, it's strategy to it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see I'm figured they, somebody gonna pick Tom Brady first. Nah, like, nah, nah. It's, it's all strategic. Yeah, all that shit is strategic. strategic. And, like, you gotta constantly, like, keep your eye to football, like, for, you know, three, four months because injuries happen. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers got COVID, you know, and they get taken out. You know, you gotta... You so know, what's the typical... Day way to no, no. What's the typical way to draft? Like who you who you, who usually goes first? Running back. position. Running backs always. Running backs are a premium because if you got a good running back, 
Uh, it's very few, it's very few good running backs. And, it's, and they score uh, more. Than the they score more depending on your setting. They score more uh, running back wise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Running backs score a little bit more points. Than so a QB throwing a touchdown don't count as much. Nah, not as, it depends on your setting, six but points. it might be six points. But you know, a running back could get the ball. You know what I'm saying? Ten times and he get fifty yards. Right. That's that's five points easily. That's a real quick five points. Whereas for for a quarterback to get even a point, he got to throw twenty yards to get one point. Right. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So like the quarterback to get fifty yards, he only get two points. Running back, that's five points. Oh, so also, your running back. Yeah. Yeah, also, your running shit, back gets receiving. Yeah, running back. Right. Yeah, right. yeah right. you got to really know to get well. The league I'm in. Shout out to uh, to Payday, uh, League A. Um, the league I'm in is real intense, as y'all saw. Like, motherfuckers study this shit. Like, so for me to for me to come back after a four or five year hiatus, you know what I'm saying, and to compete with them, so kudos to me, by the way. And you know what I'm saying, like, it, it's intense. It's really competitive. So, who do you have? What's your lineup? Off the top of my head, Matthew Stafford, uh, Aaron Jones, who scored four touchdowns at press mm-hmm. time yesterday. Um, uh, Cooper Cup, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, Johnson Smith, tight end. Um, nice. And uh, you know, those are the notables. Everybody, I, I had uh, Jarvis Landry. He got injured today. Strain MCL at press time. Um, so he's out. He's on IR. But That's strong too. I mean, it's cool, right? Like, like, dude. They do the and defensive end. They in the group chat. They they heaping my prayer. You're like, oh man, Rick, you came with it. I'm like, relax, man. I'm only <laughs> two and up. Don't <laughs> fucking <laughs> jinx <laughs> me. Don't fucking start. You know what I'm saying? Be on my jock now. Like, relax. <laughs> I know they not though. They not on my jock. They being That's fake. You know, they fake. Right, right, they right. heaping fake praise. Like, yeah, pumping me <laughs> up so I can fall down. Right, right. But That's all that is. So. You they play uh, the defensive end? You got a defensive yeah, player? Defensive, Not defensive end. No, defensive we got player. defensive players, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, is D is uh, defensive lineman, linebackers, and uh, cornerbacks. So, it's yeah, it's really... Yo, Vince, get your fucking offensive lineman in there, man. <laughs> Tell you, man. Add some spice to your league, man. Add some spice. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> um, but... Football is here. Fall is here. Who's number two? Well, number oh, you tied for number two. I'm tied for number one. Like number it's, one. It's man. like three of us. Uh, it's three guys. Three teams. It's uh, two and all. So, How's yeah. Harry Egbo? He's not in the league. No? Huh? Nah. What about Emmanuel? Uh, He's in there. Uh, I think his name is uh, Big Draco. Shout okay. out to Emmanuel. E-Man. E-Man. Salute. Big fan of your work, too, man. I'm going to be checking for your movies. Your critic. Your, your, your but, um, movie critic shit. Yeah, I want my name on the belt. Fuck all that. Shit. Nah. I want my name on the belt. You know what I'm saying? For me to come back Get close after five years. <laughs> yeah. I'm do and and I'm gonna do I will walk around with that belt. Nah. <laughs> no, no, I, I no, I'm will. dead ass. Like, I'll straight kid dude. I will go everywhere with that belt. <laughs> so just people who ask you, hey, what's the belt? They are they already gonna know it's fantasy. Right, 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 right. Football, dude. I'm talking about if you go like in Costco or something. Fantasy football, they already know. Yeah, they'll know. They'll know. Dude, who dude, needs to know, know will know. Dude, who, yeah, exactly. <laughs> who needs to know? People that know. Walk in somewhere with a championship belt, I'm not going to know it's from fantasy. If, I, I, see I, that, if I see it, I'm going to know it's fantasy. Right, right. If I see so that, that's I'll the know. thing in fantasy. Yeah, that, it's a big bragging right. And that dude that has it, that's all that matters. Yes, if, if, if me and No, if, the, if, if, low key, the belt <laughs> is almost as important as the money. Like, the money is nice. Right, right, right. The money is dope. Like, if you win. You know, three grand, two grand, whatever. Mm-hmm. But that bragging right to walk around with that belt for a year, oof. That, that's yeah, that's monumental right there. Now, now you're cooking with Chris. Yeah, the respect, <laughs> just respect on my name. Yeah, man. <laughs> man. And if at the end of the, the season, if it feels like you really. Like you, you know what I'm saying? The mental strain, dude, it's a relief. Yeah, like, it's dude, crazy, I'm telling you, every day you have to look <laughs> at your shit. And you so this is just up. regular season, right? It's, you got to yeah. make the playoffs. Right, regular season so you can make the playoffs. And yeah. the playoffs, you still moving around? Players yes. Playoffs? Yeah. Dude, playoffs are the last, what, 
two weeks of the regular season. Two three weeks of the regular yeah. season. Yeah. But what about when the teams start losing and you losing players? You gotta you gotta, gotta re up. You gotta adjust. You gotta get new so players. So the lineups just get smaller. Nah, not the lineups get smaller. You gotta do, you gotta remove those players and look for other players that's in the free agent pool. Oh, oh, check the waiver wire. It's a waiver wire. It's a waiver wire audit. Man. And your position you actually, on the waiver wire changes week to week. Like yeah. I'm thinking the players on your team, like if they don't make the no. playoffs, they just out. No. Oh, like man. first of all, first of all, okay, so a NFL season is seventeen weeks. Mm-hmm. You don't go into the NFL's playoff season. Mm-hmm. Your playoff season is still in the middle of their regular season. It's probably the oh, last three weeks okay. of their regular season. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I get it. So, okay. you know what I'm saying? When they're in the playoffs, remember, if they, if some team, you know what I'm saying, you can't go into fantasy, you can, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to dumb it down. No this. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't go into the playoffs and lose your quarterback. You know right, Because yeah, your saying. quarterback might not make the playoffs. Right, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, it's all, it's all contingent on the regular season. Okay. What he he does is all upon. So when the NFL playoffs start, it's over. Yeah, yeah it's over. Okay. Yeah. Fantasy been over. Fin- right. How do, how does that work with this year being the first year with the extra game? So it's just an extra game. Yeah, it's just an extra game. That's all. That's all. Yeah, don't think about don't think about your fantasy team predicated on their real life record. It's not. Right. It's no, not based on their real life record. This is your team. This is your team. <laughs> okay. And what they do on the field, what win or loss. You know what I'm saying? It's only for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or for, you know, a bunch of other people. Yeah. So. Okay. But, you know. That's dope. Yeah. Um, segue into, you know, I don't know how to segue out of fantasy, but another uh, fantasy player that was pretty uh, pretty good in his own right is Ben Simmons. <laughs> and that, uh, you know, is my once out out of Philly. This guy's, this guy's fucking good, man. It's better, it's better, it's better than fucking, fucking weak, man. I tell you, uh, he's, a stats, he's a fantasy stats though. The segways, I'm talking uh, the segways, dude. It's unreal, man. He's a fantasy stats suffer, Ben Simmons. Uh, you know, what I'm saying once out of Philly. Um, as of today, um. As of today, September 21st, he wants out of Philly. He's not returning to camp. Uh, what are y'all thoughts? Like, where is he going? First of all, what's the possibility? Where, what destinations do we have? My question is, can he do this? Yeah. Yeah. Do what? Force the way out? Can he say, yo, I ain't never playing for y'all again and just yeah. sit there? They're going to find a way. They're if he's willing to accept the Dude, John Wall, John Wall just said he want out. He not playing for Houston. They're going to find And they worked out. out. They no, worked they, out. they working together. Though. Yeah. They are working at him, but Philly don't want Ben. Right. They I don't think that. It don't sound like anybody else want him either. It's quiet. <laughs> it's quiet now. It's quiet now. Ben is a conundrum because he, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, he, what they need, what Philly, they Philly needs him for their success. Him being on a team makes him an annual threat to win a championship, but his deficiencies also keep them from winning a championship. <laughs> Right, he's a. It's a conundrum. Like he's a. It's a weird situation. That's another thing. Why is he so like? I'm never playing. Why is he so angry? The team didn't because, back him because at the team end of, and the fans hate him. But and the, the team didn't get his back. I think it's you know what I'm saying. That, well, after right that after performance, that series loss. They didn't. They you know what I'm saying. Were damn near with the same sentiment as the fans. Like you know what I'm saying. Usually an organization will keep that shit in house. Oh, they, so he looked at like the, the team turned their back on me pretty much. And yeah, I remember what Doc Rivers said, like, uh, can you win a championship with Ben Simmons? And he, yeah. he flat out said, I don't know. Yeah, I can't, I can't answer that. I can't yeah. answer that. Yeah, that's kind of the diss. Yeah. Usually, no one is going to say, yo, like, yeah, we just got to work hard, blah, blah, blah. We got to keep, yeah, keep improving. Yeah, get the PCS. Keep improving. We got to chip away. They right, might, right. you know, he didn't say that. Back to the drawing board. Yeah, like, nah. Like, but how, you, long, how long do you see this? Him holding out. How long does this go? No, he he's trade? getting traded. Before the season start? It has to. Why does it have to? He can't come they, back to that line. He got four years left. Don't matter. He's going to get traded. Dude. It's they a, don't want to trade him and get back. First of all, it's got to be a good deal. First of all, he's, he's, not, he's not a horrible player. He's, he's not. Far from it. Far from it. Oh, you, you can, you can right. utilize a Ben Simmons now. 
Yeah, so he can definitely utilize them. Yeah, so you now, Philly might not like what they get back in return. Now, that's a different topic. That's the thing. They but you see what they're asking for? Them back. It's almost like they don't want to trade them because they're asking for something like like astronomical and unreal. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, they don't, they don't but have... understandable, that's their number one pick. And he, at the same time, without Ben Simmons, Damn. they become... Number, you know what I'm saying? So they, they don't, don't want to just get back draft picks. Right. They don't. They're trying to win now. They don't yeah. want futures help. Cause they can't do that because they can't waste Embiid's years. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They're on the cusp. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd like to see them hold out though. I mean, all right. The team or Ben? The Sixers. The Sixers. Now you got four years left, nigga. <laughs> you don't want. You, you don't want to disrupt. First of all, you don't want to. Yeah, they can't do that because Embiid. Relax, relax on the superstar now. You ain't a superstar. He's going. He's, he's an all star, and he's all NBA. He's an all star. He's not a superstar. All star plus all NBA don't mean superstar. No. MVP no. talks early. You know what? what? Regular what? season what? MVP, MVP talks. They were talking about him getting him being an MVP strictly off his defensive presence alone, and it was hyper, hyper, hyperbole, true enough. But I'm just saying the fact that it was talk alone. No, Ben never got saying? MVP. There was definitely MVP. No, he never got MVP. I'm just no, saying no, there was actually. Never. Chatter. He was chatter about the defensive player. No, that no, yeah, definitely that. But I'm saying there was actually MVP chatter. All right, we made you on the mic. Point is, yeah. point is, he's not a superstar. We agree no. on that, right? Okay. No, he's not. But I'm no. saying he's not. A, he's that type of player. He's that. He could be that type of player if he yes. get the simple he could deficiency be in his game. He worked on every year. Zeke boys, can he? He can't, can't, can't he? Can he be? <laughs> on the right team, he can't. Seven years in, six years in, he still hasn't unlocked it. He's been yeah. on NBA, hasn't he? I think so, 13. That's what I'm saying is he's a, such but a good like, because he could go from being a, he's, you know what I'm saying, being a, a truly with a can. That's why he's so cocky, Pauls. Yeah. I don't like his cockiness. Cause you like, dude, I don't need no jump shot, I'm all NBA. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that too. A simple, humble attitude will have him Giannis going crazy. Giannis don't have a jump shot, but he humble. Like, he Super know. humble. And you can tell Giannis actually works on his jump shot, yeah. even though it's not, you know what I'm saying, it's still better than Ben's. It was never bad as Ben's either, but... Ben, it's not... You don't know if Ben's jump shot is horrible. He's scared. He's got the yips. Yeah, he, he won't even take it. It's, that's what I'm saying. You don't know what his jump yeah. shot is. He's got the you yips. You see him every summer in the gym shooting it, though. One yeah. foot runners from three, you know, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Three time All Star. He's all NBA once. Yeah, two time All Defense. Yeah, thirteen. Okay. Yeah, you know, first team, thirteen. Yeah, hey, he's still all NBA. I know. I said thirteen. He's one of the best fifteen players in the league. At one point in one in one year, yes. Yeah. What is he now? Is he a top thirty player? No. I have to really just thought in that. Top 30. I think you can put Ben top 30. I, I can mention 29 players back. <laughs> that would put him at 30. <laughs> no, I can mention... No, I'm sorry. You good one. <laughs> Technically up. Yeah. I can, I can mention 30 players better than that. Currently. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Besides the obvious, buddy... Uh, I would say De'Aaron Fox. Are you going to leave off players as injured? Or are you going to put them in too? What do you mean, playing since century? Well, are you gonna put Kawhi in there? Kawhi ain't gonna play this year. Kawhi, his 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 body, his, dude, Kawhi's better than Ben. Yeah, that's he's not gonna play this year though. How can you include? Okay, him? fine. But you, we're just talking if he if he's a Kyle, Kyle Lowry's <laughs> better than Ben Simmons. Yes. Okay. De'Aaron Fox is better than Ben Simmons. You yes. Could argue. Nah, he's better than Ben Simmons. All around. Ben Simmons. De'Aaron Fox is a better player than. Ben Simmons. Overall, I'll take a and I'll take a playoff De'Aaron Fox over Ben Simmons, and playoff De'Aaron mm. De, and and De'Aaron Fox has never even made the playoffs. <laughs> so would you take you take a great score over Ben Simmons? You, would you take a great score that's trash at defense over Ben Simmons? So Zach Levine, you're talking about? <laughs> yes, I'm taking Zach Levine over. You know what? Simmons. I agree though, because. You can actually game plan and shut Ben Simmons down. Easily. And then he's so mentally weak, it affects other parts of his Dude, game. Dude, he can't shoot a free throw. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah, he is a fucking... Line. You can shut Ben Simmons pedestrian down. Pedestrian, yeah. point guard, pass the ball, and I move. That's all he is. So yeah. How's he all NBA? I'm saying... Because that's a regular in season In a regular season. <clears throat> regular season, you get more fast breaks. 
When it, when it's crunch time, when the lights are bright, you know what I'm saying? This team is game plan. That, that, that shit get tight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I mean, like, he's Let's scared. Go. Yeah, <laughs> you get scared out there. Like, dude, that ain't nothing but, that's nothing but mental, dude. He really got scared. He on got that scared. Play. Dude, he, when he had an open mm-hmm. layup and passed it. We all saw it. That's, that's going to define his career. We all saw it. He, he got to win a title to get rid of that. That was a nasty stench. I don't think he got to win a title. I don't, know, I don't think he got to win a title. He's got to play good in the playoffs. Yeah, he's just got to play good in the playoffs. He got to hit jumpers. Do something. Or don't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that was it. That was, seriously, that's embarrassing. It was mental. Like you. That's embarrassing. That, that was mental for weakness. A, for a, 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 a trained NBA player, a, a top 15 player, as you said. So does he need to go to, to a team where he's the number one guy? Nah, uh-huh. he needs... He needs someone to be in his... He needs someone to keep it real with him. He needs some tough love. Look at the teams that are interested in him. <laughs> Golden State you and don't, Portland. You don't, actually, so Sacramento. 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 And Sacramento. 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 Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I saw that... Uh, Portland, Golden State. There's Simmons. leadership on both of those teams. Simmons and Maxi for John Wall it lines up. Yeah. What? And Houston. Money-wise, it lines Philly up. would take that? No, I'm not saying John that. John fucking Wall? The salary, the salary, the, the money salary matches up. I would, I honestly, I would that. take a broke down John Wall over Ben Simmons. I mean, oh, hell yeah. I'm not taking John Wall. John Wall, I don't, I mean, just age alone. He not just, that old. He not that old. And John Wall is. And in, become injury prone. I agree, but I'd rather have that than a person that's scared. <laughs> that's crazy. My, I agree, but my faith is that. I'm still got faith that he can he can get over that shit. He can get over that. This is the, I use my Zeke voice. Will he? Because he can't go any lower. Will he? He cannot go any lower. That's all Will I'm saying. He? He's hit rock bottom. Has he? He ha- What else can yeah, he do yeah, worse? He's, this is this is rock bottom. What else can okay. he possibly do worse? And, but do it over and over again. Like he can. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, taking like I stand. I'm taking John Wall right now at 30 years old over Ben Simmons. Injury prone, mm-hmm. John Wall. I mean, we're not talking about the the uh, the Dougie John Wall. I'm talking <laughs> about the injury prone John Wall right now. I'm taking mature, him. mature. Yeah, I'm taking him. Not, not he still averaged twenty and seven last year. Twenty point right, seven and six. Shooting what? Uh, 42, 43. I'm not expecting John Wall to shoot great. But do not get that from Ben. Yeah. Ben got to be damn near wide open shot clock winding down. Ben is 14, 7, and 8. And, I mean, he shoots great, but then free throws, he's horrible. You get locked down, game-changing defense. John, John Wall plays not locked down, but he plays gambling D, which is good. It's, fe- yeah. it's feasible. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not a sieve, but... So, in your mind, will Ben Simmons be on the Sixers when the season starts? No. Media no, you don't. Media you don't, day is next week. No, he'll be traded by. I would they say gonna have to trade him before media day. Nah, they'll hold him out. He'll get traded in by November. If they don't, November he'll be traded. He's getting traded. Oh, Guaranteed. Yeah. Well, you, you think he's going to the, into the start of the season? Maybe a couple of games where he, but yeah, but it's not going to be All Star break, and we still got this Ben Simmons thing over our head now. I mean, so he, ain't, oh, he ain't gonna be with the team. Then. He ain't gonna be on the. No, bench. he's not showing up for media right. day. He's not. Yeah, he's not doing that. Well, I mean, but even if it does, it won't be out of defiance. It's, they're looking for a deal that's that's gonna give them a, a payback of their number one draft pick that can help them win. You know what I'm saying? Immediately. You know what I'm saying? So. They got to work. They got to find that because no team is going to make it easy. Give them some easy shit. Who going to give up that for the guy that's scared in the playoffs? That's part of the conundrum <laughs> that, that is Ben Simmons. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he doesn't want to play. He wants to be traded. Right. But it's hard to trade him. You want us, you're demanding a trade. We're trading low. We're not trading high. If he came off a great performance, right. this would be done in a second. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's part of the, the challenge. And he's getting angry as if he played great. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Boy, you just came off a trash performance and you want us to get this done ASAP? He's still like, being selfish. That's a segue out of that. If you let's see what you got. Let me see. Let's uh, bring it on. So, you know, Ben Simmons being a guy that. <laughs> hold on, I'm looking at right, yeah. Hold on, I'm on the phone. Oh, I got you, I got you. Ben Simmons, a guy, glides the money. And in order to. 
make that money, you gotta, you know, be fit and stay in shape. So, <laughs> hey man, yo, you gotta start a class, man. <laughs> so what's that? In order to be a great basketball player, you gotta stay in shape, right? You gotta start you a gotta class. You gotta hydrate, my nigga. right? So with hydration, I I asked you, Joe, I, I, what do you what do you do? How do you how you how you shed the pounds, man? Or, you know how you get the chisel. <laughs> Yo, let's get you Mitchell. Let's get you bring it up. <laughs> uh, well, I right, like well, for those that don't know, I, I was I, I was recently a fat ass as recently as say, six months ago. <laughs> Four to five, six, maybe even six months ago. Oh, um, man. If, if you follow that, you can, you can almost follow the anthology of the, um, the pod. Like, episode one through, like, I really looked back and, and, like, looked at myself. Like, episode one through six. You know what I'm saying? I was, like, I was decent. You know what I'm saying? When we started going to the studio at 7S Worldwide, um... It started, it started falling off the hinges. <laughs> <laughs> Fell off the wagon, if you will. Uh, big, yo! Big Joe Burgers. <laughs> them Joe uh, Burgers. Joe Burger, <laughs> Joe nacho patties. Oh, Your man. spicy nachos. Oh, them joints are so funny. They cool down soon. They come out rough. <laughs> <laughs> the blaze. Man, shit. Whew, but... I digress. What? Um, yeah, so if y'all know, By the anybody way, you, you knows. Look, you look good. No homo. Gratitude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I appreciate like, it, man. Like I, like I say, with me it became like I don't, I never, I don't know if I disc- disclose this to y'all, but in all honesty, like I started feeling chest pains, man. Oh. <laughs> like electric little, like like jolts in my shit. Like doctor said, yo, fall back, man. Oh, we're gonna have to put you on the on the cholesterol pills. Damn, damn. What was your apex weight wise if I can interject? Uh, 239. So 240. 240. 5'10, 240. Which. I'm going by the Zeke roundup. <laughs> yeah, but if right. I say a player average 19.9, it's not 20. Mm. It's 19.9. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been stumped. Okay. Oh. Yeah, 239. <laughs> um, yeah, so. You know, if, if anybody knows me, I'm a nerd. I immediately hit the Googles, did start doing mad research. research. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? We always be in the gym. We hoop and we work out. <clears throat> but what I what I learned is the eating. It's all about the eating. At this age. You can you can you can work out and, and, and eat bullshit in your nineteens, your te- late teens, twenties, even your early thirties. But around this age is when working out. In the early part of the podcast, I was two oh five, two hovering between two oh five and two ten. What's your What's your good weight? You want to be at? For me, well, let, well, let me I'm get into that. Oh, okay. me, I'm sorry. sorry. I stopped no. looking at weight mm-hmm. and started looking at body body fat count, the my body fat percentage. Okay. So at two to five ten and two forty. If you just someone tells you that and they don't see you. That could be fucking a fat ass. That could be Tracy Morgan. Mm-hmm. Or that could be Mike Tyson in his prime. That's a heavyweight fighter. That could be Ezekiel Elliott. Yeah, 5'9", 240. That could be Ezekiel Elliott. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's the body fat. The only difference between them two people is the body fat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what I, what I learned is, all right, so what must go up is your, is your protein intake. Water, what must go down is sugar and carbs. And it should have just peeled off. Damn. It's not easy though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like stay dedicated. Yeah, and, and the exercise. Now the exercise part is it depends you, know, you gotta figure out what body type you like. If you like to be a, a brolicky type, like uh my friend to the left here. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? You you work out a certain way. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get all that because that could go a million ways. But you work out a certain way, and your protein you want to go pound, yeah. gram for pound. Mm-hmm. If you want to get big, and you want to lift heavy. Yeah, right. Your strength. Mm-hmm. If you want to get ripped and toned, 
which is what I'm going for, you go half. So now I'm at, I started, to, uh, 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 now I'm at 189. Damn. So I go half. You at 189? 189. Ooh. Hey, do we have some footage? I hear we have some footage. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, that's pretty much it, man. Protein, but you got to do both. You know you got to eat right. You know you got to exercise, but for just the protein and water, mm -hmm. knock out the sugar and carbs. But Joe, you make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, well, let me get into that. Nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's simple. But it, what, it, what it is is the it, dedication. It's simple. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know what what it's a, it's a, yeah. you gotta stay on a regimen. You gotta. It really is simple, but it's it's not. It's no, it's simple, simple, but it's so easy to just pick up a juice or man, eat, then, a, eat a gyro burger. Man, how do I lose weight? Okay, do this, 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 and this. That's it. And you but you don't have life, but when you got life, if you're if you're a real person, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got a family, you you go to, got a job, mm. and you're not Ben Simmons, <laughs> right. right? You know what, you know what I'm saying. You don't have you're a personal a, chef, yeah. all that shit, you all the time in the world, not punching the clock, right? Shit like that. Yeah. We not the Rock. We got fucking I'm, I'm, all the time I'm, in the world. I'm happy for you though. Like, yeah, I too, mean, man. you you motivated me, and I already work out, but no. Like, you motivate me to like eat a little bit better because mm -hmm. like you used to eat trash. I'm trying to cut yeah. the carbs. My too. nickname was Snacks. Yeah, yeah, you a snack <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, real talk, like yeah, you a snack motherfucker. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm motivated, so like, you know, I want to maybe trim down or I want to do a little bit more cardio. But yeah, I'm glad you you uh, educated us and 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 our thousands and thousands of uh, subscribers. Yeah. With the protein, are you eating? Are you drinking protein shakes, or are you just strictly well, chicken and all that? It's funny you ask that. <laughs> I actually have a little something prepared for our thousands and thousands of listeners. <laughs> just a, you know, a little, little example of how it can be made simple. <laughs> it's an affordable, and you at the same time, you? simple way. This is what I eat every day. This is what you eat every day. Every day. So you're like, really breaking down the science right here. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 cost wise it's, it's cheaper. So this I got disgusting. <laughs> I mean it's been sitting in the fridge. I mean it's about protein and what you like, obviously. Some people can't I eat a lot of like almonds and shit, heavy in, in protein. People he's, some people have almonds. Roasted almonds, right? Uh no, shaved. Shaved. Some people are allergic and to they eat, can't eat, you know what I'm saying? You want your salt intake. Obviously. Definitely. Yeah. And I eat a lot of fish, which is high in salt, so I got to watch that. You know what I'm saying? I alternate between chicken. Shit is easy, man. You got an air fryer. You know what I'm saying? This has got roasted uh, vegetables. You know, throw that, saute that shit real quick. Chicken, throw that in the air fryer. This shit takes... I, I got my meal prep for the, for a week. If you got a job where you get paid every two weeks like, I, like we do, $100 lasts me for two weeks. And that's not just eating at work. This is eating at home and at work. $100 is cheap. It takes me two hours on a Sunday and I'm done for the week. Mm. Mm. So it's not time consuming. It seems like a whole lot. Right, yeah. You do the shit at one time. You know what I'm saying? Got fruit. You know what I'm saying? That's my snacks. Like when I, I nice. have a sweet tooth, hit the snack. You know what I'm saying? Go to, go to Jewel's. They got the shit chopped up already. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? This is my fit, like another snack. I'm a sardine guy. I throw the hot sauce. I gotta watch that the salt. What you know what I'm saying? Sardines. Oh, sardines, okay. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then uh, another snack. I'm a snack guy. Plain yogurt, no sugar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not that bad, though, honestly. You just stir it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put your fruit in there. I got blueberries in here. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of honey. You know what I'm saying? You mix that up. And then I got a protein shake. You don't go. They got 50 grams of pro... That shit is stupid. You know what I'm saying? Your body can't even consume that in one setting. Oh, so you don't need a lot of grams out. of protein? 20 is like the max in one setting. Now, you could do 50 grams over the course of a day. You you drink two of these. You know what I'm saying? You don't go too crazy. It's a lot of sugar and shit. This has zero carbs, zero sugar. But, 
You know what I'm saying? Is that homemade or that's... No, this is from GNC. And the key is that, that you got to... I'm sorry. Good. The key is that you also got to... Like, you can't just eat one meal. That doesn't work. You starving gotta, yourself. No. Starving yeah, yourself does not work. Right. Like, that's the that. misconception that, that, like, yo, like, just eating one meal. No, right. like, you have to eat routinely. You have to eat four or five times a day. Now, if you're a professional bodybuilder, you're right. trying to make you, weight for a competition right. or something, you may just go all water. Yeah, that's, we're talking regular people. Like, right. you know, those are regular guys. Like, starving yourself is just for the birds. You, you know, know. the intermittent fasting. I, I think that's bullshit, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you stop eating at 8 o'clock and you, ate, and you eat at 8 o'clock in the morning, what do you do? That's mean? fasting. You know what I'm Because you sleep. Yeah, I mean, just... You, you know sleep at 10 and pay, and Yeah, so... I mean, if, it's, if that's what you but consider you still, fasting, you still yeah. shouldn't eat super late. Not heavy. You, I'll eat fruit. He said that was bad. Not heavy. You know what I'm saying? He said that was bad. He said not heavy. Then I checked your ass. No, because you're right. You're right. You're right. You, fucking, you want to eat a whole steak. Right. I know you ain't coming at him sideways, but you said it. You don't want to sit on your stomach while you sleep. Right, nah, right, nah. 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 Right. You just yeah. eat some fruit, you know what I'm saying? I might eat like peanut butter, like what's well, I'll chop up some bananas, you know what I'm saying? With the, you know something simple, light like that. And so I, the shake is that water? I use, use water. water. I don't. I yeah. stop. You. I milk, used to use milk. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. use almond milk in my shake. Why you say eat? taste? Yeah. Nah, you just got down it, man. You just got. Yeah. You can get. You you get adjusted to the taste. Milk does taste better. I it ain't gonna does. Lie, but. But it makes my You sense. can't do no kind of, can't do the almond milk, eat lactose free, nothing? Yeah, almond milk is good. I do water anyway. Like, I don't want no fat. So water the best way. Water the best water way. Water and the, and the yeah. powder. I personally, I, just, I want the minimum amount of fat I can do, so I have to cut the All milk right. out. That's dope. So, now are you doing a gallon a day of water? I'm working on I'm working on my water intake, but okay. I, I drink way more than I used to, which is mm-hmm. probably. And yep. it helps, all this helps the skin, it helps oh, your man. energy, all that. It's good for your skin, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, like, seriously, that <laughs> shit helps your skin, helps yeah. your energy. You and not, then you fall. I bet you're not even sluggish. No, no, no. I'm back hooping all type of shit, man. Oh, shit, man. I, you know, shit, I, I was out there, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> all that. And it makes you fall, like, when you drink water, mm-hmm. like, yeah. those cravings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's why at night, say, yeah. when you at night, late at night, when you hungry, you just drink water. Right. So, that's what it is, man. Like I'm I proud of you, man. Dr. Joe just broke it down. For <laughs> yeah, you. really. I'm, I'm proud for Channel 7, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got to I, you know, honestly, man, this is going to be mushy, but I think y'all, I think to my thousands of dollars of listeners, you don't are privy to the conversations that we had. <laughs> Both of these dudes have called me fat. Multiple times, man, and I, you know what I'm saying, and then, and I don't take it. I know it's coming from a place of love. You know what I'm saying? Like I know, you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Because other nigga ain't nobody else gonna tell me. It was a time you know when the hot dog was was back. Oh yeah, man, <laughs> was, man dog. I used to play very it. Very visible. <laughs> I used to flick it. I used to flick it. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, but yeah, man. That, so that's what it is, man. I you know just want to keep it going. Like I said, I want. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want, I want. If I could get to 15 percent body fat, mm-hmm. where do you at now? I'm at like 24. Okay. I started when I was 240. I was like like 35, 36 percent body fat. Oh. So now I'm at 24. And so if you squint, you, you can see a six pack. So how do you uh, see your body fat without with uh, ignoring your weight? I mean, you see it, but I mean, I don't pay. I don't harp on that. If I only oh, lost okay. three pounds after a month of work, that, that doesn't discourage oh, okay. me. My body fat goes. You're gonna lose as a byproduct. You're gonna lose weight if mm-hmm. your body as your body fat, depending on how you eat and what you're trying. Your goal is your your, your exercise. Mm-hmm. If you're trying to gain weight and, and you're eating mad protein like a, a gram per pound, and no, your weight isn't gonna go down, but your body fat will. You know what I'm saying? But you shouldn't be discouraged because that's not your goal to lose weight. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Your but your body fat is what you're paying attention to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So okay. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So y'all rewind this part, get your notebook out, <laughs> take some notes. <laughs> and if you see me get getting shape one on one. And if you sleep see me slipping off the wagon, any of us, throw it in the throw it in the comments. Yo, channel seven, you're one, getting fat. One more question. Hmm. 
Does this work for women as well? Yes, very much so. But it's the only reason it's different for them is to exercise different. Because mm. most of their power, and you know, what I'm saying coming, yeah, le- legs. legs and their well, Lord their trouble this would be like thighs and shit, yeah, right? Yeah. We're a more upper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Other than that, ain't no different. With with uh, with so much flavor that's on this. <laughs> <laughs> That's on this uh, oh, on, the, on on this couch right now. What what's, what flavor of kicks are we rocking? I see I see nothing but heat right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, it's just fly right uh, there. Man. I see I see with the the PGs. You know, but Joe, you know what I'm saying? If we gotta <laughs> zoom in on yours. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not a shoe guy, but like... I'm saying though, for you to rock these joints. You know, let's in your up. presence, I I don't no. dare um, flex a shoe, man. Like no. yeah, you know what I'm saying? those are hot though, yo. Like the the the, the Greek freaks. You I know? don't even know. I didn't honestly. I didn't until I saw the word freak. Oh. In there. I didn't know they were. <laughs> Come on, dude. I told you I fucking forgot my shoes at home, and I had to. Just, I, it was an impulse. These were the cheapest ones I could get. This yeah, they went on sale quick. This is probably right. this is probably one of the best shows that we've all had decent, you know, hooping hooping kicks, you know what I'm saying? Like we all usually you just have some Tim's on this. No, no, so whatever. <laughs> it was pretty you know much what whatever, saying? right. But um Ah, uh, look at the flex. <laughs> look at the flex. Wait, wait, it's flex. no different than these are no different than y'all. That makes sense. It's not oh, oh, yours would just be on some you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Dope show, man. Shout out to Mike, Mike the cameraman. Um, once again, uh, keep fucking us on you, fucking with us on YouTube, on Spotify, Deezer, uh, what else? Uh, Apple Music on uh, Apple uh, Apple Music with uh, the iPods. Is it, what is it? Apple what? Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast. Wherever you listen to podcasts. Yeah, all your streaming plats. Um, we appreciate y'all watching us. Uh, appreciate the IG love. Appreciate the YouTube and all the platforms. S-L-H-H-P-O-D, IG. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, the IG dope content, too. Just three friends talking shit. You know what I'm saying? So That all. That all. <laughs> that all. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got, I got nothing, man. I'm definitely about to... Uh, Go and uh, go embrace this uh, this life that you live in. You know what I'm saying? Eating better, and eating healthier. You know what I'm saying? That's all I care about, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I love ones, man. My my, my people, my peoples, man. Getting right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the real man. If I can do it, <laughs> so can you. <laughs> <laughs> right, man, as usual, you got the usual crew, the one and only Zeke. My man Ricky Shwee! And I'm Channel 7. Peace. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta take him off the head. But there's only one, and that's me. You understand? Just like we come through. Better have your fucking third hour. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody to sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be a rich. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are.